Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do a quick love spread. I'm going to pull a few cards for Virgo in love. I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera. Thank you to those who have liked, shared, comment, commented, subscribed to the channel. It's much appreciated. Go ahead and do that now. Click that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Find me on Instago, Instagram. Go over to my website and choose a reading and book. Alright, let's go. Alright. Four cards for Virgo. All right. Bottom of the deck, the Ten of Pentacles. You worried about the long haul, and this is your energy. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. That's beautiful. Um, let's see what the other cards are. Of course, this is stable, home, longevity in, in marriage, family, children. Sun, Moon, Arise, and Virgo. Okay. We've got the Five of Swords. We've got the Seven of Cups. We've got the Two of Pentacles. We've got the King of Cups. Some of you could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in your chart. Or uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Scorpio and Pisces in particular, you are trying to um, get to. You really... Um, so, you might already be in something, maybe with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Somebody's cheating here. Somebody has options. Someone's keeping their options open. This is sometimes the unfaithful spouse. Uh, someone who makes promises just to break them. Then here's the two of pentacles. A love affair or a business venture decision that's not favorable. Also, you're weighing up two very real options. Two very real people uh someone's getting more attention than the other you know uh cancer pisces scorpio here too whoever you're dealing with is very open and emotionally um mature open to love open um to receiving and giving five of swords you definitely have in battle about interference you don't get to the five of swords by just you know oh this uh you left the toilet seat up or, or something petty this is outside interference it could be another love partner it could be family it could be anything but there's interference here within your ten of pentacles type of relationship and my virgos are really weighing up who or whichever way they want to go they um they have strong feelings i think outside because interference outside of the relationship Let's get three clarifying cards and then let's get on out of here. We're going to keep it short. All right. Three clarifying cards for Virgo. The Tower. Okay. So some unexpected, unfortunate event comes in, shakes up, breaks down this Ten of Pentacles type of relationship you think you have. It was built on faulty ground, anyhow, is what the Tower says. Um, if it's meant to be, you guys will build it back up in the, in the correct manner. If not, the, the tower's coming in and shaking it up. Eight of Pentacles, yeah. Um, s some of you are... Some of you met somebody at work or um, you're using work as a scapegoat for how you don't want to go home, how you don't want to be in a certain situation for Pentacles. But you're also holding on to this situation than the five of pentacles um you're just not confident with making the decision just yet or making the transition just yet some of you are using work uh something about work you tell the other person i'm going to work i'm doing something at work i'm working late um it's getting found out um but either they or you are still trying to hold on all right if this resonated with you Please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, Virgo. All right, all of uh, my outlets are below where you can find me, where you can uh, request a personal read and send an email. Go to my website, go to Instago, uh, go to Instagram, to the Tarot of L Instagram, and uh, message me there. I mean, not really. Send me an email before you do that. But remember, Virgo, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you guys. Pray for me as well. Take care.